Hi you guys, this is Nina back again. Like, share, and subscribe. I can be found on Twitter at Love Radio 44132. Don't forget to like, share, and sub. And today we are going to go back into a topic that has really set the internet on fire uh, the last few hours. Uh, Once again, for the third day in a row, I actually woke up and saw Kanye trending again. And let me say, I know that he suffers from mental illness. Um, I've been looking into this. Um, It seemed like he suffers from a lot of anxiety, mood swings, stress, uh, maybe even hallucinations to some degree, just from what I'm seeing with the amount of different moods and different personalities and just the different ups and downs he's having in the last week or so with jumping in the presidential race to spilling a lot of information about him and his family. And that's actually what I'm going to get into today because he put out some tweets last night, which were deleted, but of course, Twitter captured it with some information that was very shocking. Uh, First of all, he seems to be in a place right now where he feels like his wife and family is trying to put him on a 5150 hold. I'm actually wondering who is truly in his corner trying to really help him. I know that Dave Chappelle did fly out to Wyoming yesterday uh, in a show of support, which is really great. However, I'm actually wondering where is Kanye's extended family you know from Chicago and stuff like where are they at and is he close to anyone that he can actually talk to because his tweets last night went all the way to the and Meek Mill was involved who is Nikki's ex I'm just showing you guys a picture of Meek Mill right there on the left Uh, Meek Mill used to be involved with Nikki and now Kanye is claiming that when Kim, his wife, met with Meek Mill to talk about prison reform um, at a hotel in California, uh, it seems like he is alleging through his tweets that he deleted that somehow there was some type of affair going on or his wife was trying to have an affair, allegedly, through those tweets. And nothing has been confirmed from Meek Mill or Kim as of right now. Only reports that Kim is very troubled by all the shocking things Kanye is saying and she'll do anything to help him. There are also a lot of allegations right that Kim is seeking to speak to various divorce lawyers, which I can kind of understand even though they have four children together. And only people missing, the only people that are going to suffer in this is the kids, let's face it. But they have been married for six years. They have four kids, and it seems like this marriage facade is crumbling uh, right in their faces with all the various allegations that are coming out right now. And it does seem like their marriage itself Um, is definitely on the rocks Um, with these new allegations saying that uh, Kanye is saying that Kim was cheating. Um, Then there's allegations that he wanted to also divorce her um, two years ago. So there's definitely some things going on here, which I'm not too surprised about. But it's very sad. Uh, He also, this is probably the most shocking thing I actually heard this morning. Um, It seems like there's some kind of interview going with him and Kris Jenner. Kris Jenner is the matriarch of the Kardashian family. And he referred to her as Kris Jong-un. If anyone is not aware, Kris um, Kim... Jung-ung is the supreme dictator of North Korea, 
so he referred to his mother-in-law as Chris Jong Un, and uh, he also called her a white supremacist. Uh, seriously, you just can't make this up. And you know this is like really bad. He also referred to Drake, Larsa Pippen, and Michael Jackson. Um, he also said some things about little baby. Uh, little baby, I guess, does not want to collaborate with him. Uh, he put that information out there. Um, so as of right now, the whole world is actually clowning uh, the Kardashians, the Jenners, and Kanye. And again, I will say this. Kanye is honestly having some type of mental breakdown right now. I'm not making this uh, video to make fun of him. But I would like to bring awareness to mental illness in the black community. I do not feel like his family right now is giving him appropriate means and measures of actual therapy, medication, counseling, or anything that will support him in his cause. He is not the only African-American um, person going through this right now. Other celebrities are such as Lark Voorhees, I believe some NFL players um, are going through this right now, uh, and well as, heck, family members. I have family members with mental illness, so he's not exclusive to this, and the sad thing is it seemed like they're almost using him as a brand tool because I'm also hearing that this is being filmed. Now, I don't think that this is being filmed on Kanye's end for the cameras for keep, keeping up with the Kardashians. However, I believe that the Kardashians are allegedly filming this for their next season at their home. So this is a mess. On top of this, he has an album coming out called Donda this Friday. Some people are alleging that uh, the album coming out at the same time it is mental health breakdown is almost similar to what happened with August Alsina and his tell all entanglement uh situation and then he dropped his album. So some people are questioning whether or not Kanye is doing this to make more album sales. However, I think at this point it actually is going past album sales. Now I'm not gonna go as far as to say that Kanye is a complete danger to himself, his kids, or his family. I think he's more of a mental danger to himself. And like so many other people that are literally made fun of, because a lot of people are literally making fun of him right now, especially with his references to uh, Kris Jenner, calling her Kris Jong Un and a white supremacist that I do believe that he needs genuine help from genuine people at this point. Somebody needs to help him from a genuine place. Now, could him and Kim end up divorcing? Perhaps. This is a lot for anyone to take. However, I mean, she does have resources, and he does have resources to take care of a divorce. However, I'm not advocating for divorce. I don't like to advocate for divorce. But it seems like the way that this is going, I'm actually starting to feel a little frightened. Because it seems like these tweets are just escalating. Now again, I'm praying that he seeks help, as so many other people do need help. I'm also hoping that this is not some large publicity stunt uh, for him to make an album sale or two. Or for the Kardashians to have more uh, salacious gossip or salacious storyline for keeping up with the Kardashians. I'm really, really hoping that this man gets help. Something is clearly wrong here. And it seems like no one is truly in his corner to help him come out of this mental state that he is wrapped in. And it does seem like as time is going on, his mental state when he's out in the public speaking gets more and more and more questionable. 
it becomes more and more um, alarming. So those are my thoughts. And again, I'm just sending prayers out to him, prayers out to everybody else suffering. Please seek help. You don't have to suffer alone. I think he should definitely take time off social media to take care of himself and personal needs. Until the next episode, you guys, like, share, subscribe, share your comments. And until the next episode, be safe. I'll talk to you guys later.